I'm really kind of tired and I don't have much to say in this video, so let's just go ahead and roll the thing. Hey guys, Sean here. So yesterday was kind of a long day. I went to work and then we as a department all went together to go see Avengers Endgame. And that was, well, we'll talk about that in a second. And then I had to go back to work and I ended up working until like 10 or 11. And then like an idiot, I ended up staying up until like four reading tweets because I hadn't read tweets for the entire day because I'd been avoiding Twitter because of spoilers for Endgame and and I didn't even I didn't even get caught up and then I went to sleep and then I woke up and finally did get caught up anyway I, as, as a result of all that I'm just really kind of out of it today and I didn't get around to making a video until pretty much last minute I mean it's 344 right now and so that means like four hours and 16 minutes to get this done and edited and posted and all that so uh, this isn't gonna be uh, a long one he says even though they always end up being long every time I say that and it's probably not gonna be the best one but uh, I've got a self-imposed schedule that I gotta keep so let's keep it anyway as I said we went and saw Avengers Endgame if you don't know what Avengers Endgame is I'm planning on doing a video series maybe about that yeah just a quick summary for if you don't know what Avengers Endgame is um, essentially in 2008 Marvel released a movie called Iron Man starring Robert Downey Jr. and since then they have released 20 other movies culminating in the 22nd movie overall Avengers Endgame which came out yesterday and really there's there's no words for what it was like I, it was it was really good it was it was really 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 good but it was a, a once in a lifetime experience maybe even once in the history of mankind experience I don't think it will ever be possible for a studio to make 21 movies over the course of 11 years that build towards one single three hour and 20 minute movie which yeah three hours and 20 minutes that's it's a really long time for a modern day movie by no means the longest movie ever made i mean gone with the wind is almost four hours long it's like two minutes shy of four hours long but that had an intermission Anyway, yeah, Avengers Endgame, I, I, I'm, I'm still processing it. As a, I know, I know that's a lot, like, it's just a movie, Sean. It, like, it shouldn't be that hard, it, but you, you don't understand. Like, I was 28 years old when Iron Man came out, and now I'm 39, and the last 11 years have been building towards this moment. And yes, it's just a movie, but it, it's it's so hard to explain. Which is why I'm either going to do a few vlogs in a row about it, or I'm just going to start a whole new series that isn't relegated to the vlogs about it. But if you come here because you saw the Endgame in the title, and you're curious about a review of Endgame or something like that, it's amazing. It's a once in a lifetime, once in human history event. If if you like movies, if you like Marvel movies, if you like comic book movies, if you like action movies, if you like pop culture in general, you should see it. You probably will see it. A lot of people will probably see it. It has the potential to be the highest grossing movie of all time. We shall see if it can finally knock Avatar out of that top spot, which yeah, it's still so surprising to this day that Avatar is still the number one highest grossing movie of all time, because 
Like, who talks about Avatar? Who has seen Avatar since it was in the theaters? Who can name three characters in Avatar? There's Jake Sully and Nala? Nala? Not, see, I can't even name her. I can't even name two, technically, because I don't know... I don't remember what her name is. It's Neytiri. See, I wasn't even close. So I can name one character in Avatar, and it's the highest grossing movie of all time. Meanwhile, I can name a hundred characters in Avengers Endgame, but I really want to, I want to do something special for the Marvel Cinematic Universe and what Marvel has done with the movies and all that, because the, it, it, the one video isn't enough for it. So look forward to that sometime in 2020, probably, because of how good I am at keeping up with doing series How's... How's that... How's that all of Disneyland working out for you, Sean? How, how you doing on that? Uh, not the best. But anyway, I know it wasn't much, and uh, it was pretty low energy this week, but that's going to do it for this week's video, so... Let me know in the comments down below, did you see Avengers Endgame? Did it change your life completely like it has mine? Well, that might be hyperbole, but I don't know. We'll see after I've had time to think about it. And did you hate it? If so, why? Why? Why do you have no joy in your life? Because I don't know how that's possible. And do you, do you even know what I'm talking about? You can talk about that down in the comments. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to talk about in the comments? Feel free. As, as long as it's not, like, Nazi stuff. I don't talk about Nazi stuff in my comments, because you'll get, you'll get banned. Because, unlike Twitter, I, I, I ban Nazi stuff. Anyway, all that. And while you're down there, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of the crazy crap that goes on around here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to help support the crazy crap that goes on around here, go ahead and hit up my Patreon. Link is in the description. And with that, have a good help where long it is until you watch my next video.